Hi everyone, my name is Rita and welcome to Poteet's Vintage Finds. This is my first video ever so bear with me. Uh, I just recently started as a reseller and in the antique and vintage business. I enjoy glassware, kitchen items, kitschy things, um, just any old thing that strikes my fancy. Just recently I decided to uh, retire early and pursue something that I really enjoyed doing and that is working with anything that's pretty old and I know there are several others that like it as well. I've been involved with a, a reseller group on YouTube and they've been very supportive and I so enjoy watching their videos and uh, seeing where everything is going. So I thought I would try my hand at it and see where it goes. A um, <clears throat> little bit about myself. I grew up with antiques and vintage items. Uh, my mother collected. She, was, she and her family were always very creative women. So I kind of followed suit with that. And for years I used to drive them around, my mom, my aunt, and drive them around to different auctions. My mom refinished furniture, she decorated with secondhand items, um, and always had beautiful things. So over the years I decided that that's kind of the way I wanted to go too, and, and filled my house, literally filled my house with a lot of old items that I truly enjoy. Um, anyway, recently I've been going through a bunch of boxes, of course, trying to figure out what I'm going to sell, what I'm going to keep, what I'm going to decorate with, all of that. In addition, I've been going to auctions and thrift stores and rummage sales or garage sales, you name it, looking for a good deal and I have found a lot of very nice things and some of them have been surprisingly surprisingly better than what I would have ever expected so um, going through all of these boxes it's kind of like Christmas time I've been opening boxes and seeing things that I haven't seen for a long time or even things that I bought at auctions and thrift stores that I haven't gotten around to looking into them and seeing what exactly I've got. So, since this has been so much fun for me, I thought maybe somebody else would like to see what, what, what I've been finding too. So in front of me, I have a box. It's a good size box. I have no idea what's in it. Looks like there's some pretty good stuff, So, um, but I can't tell. A lot of it's wrapped up. So, if you'd like to stick around, let's take a look and see what I found. See what I have. Okay. This was a really nice brass item that I found um, in a Goodwill store. I think it cost me like 75 cents. And it's all painted brass. Gorgeous little, little urn. I do like brass items and this one struck my fancy. I thought it was beautiful and will probably go for sale. I do like it a lot so it might be something I keep but I can't keep everything so we'll set it aside. <laughs> oh. okay. I have no idea what this is. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> Still has the Goodwill tags on it. $1.75 a piece. And there's two of them. Little mid-century cats. Little Siamese cats. Absolutely love those. Look at their eyes. One of them's playing coy. 
and the other one looks awful happy. That will be a good, a good item to be selling. There's no chips, no cracks. Not a lot of crazing, some crazing, but not a lot. But they're beautiful. What a face. Oh, it looks like I have some plates. Looks like they're all the same. Three plates. I think they're probably Homer Laughlin. Yes. Um, Homer Laughlin. Dinner plates. And those are Georgian. And it looks like they were from 1947. I have three of these. And those will go on sale. And I picked those up for a dollar a piece. I think this one has a cup with it, but we'll find out. Just a second here. Oh, here's a little dish. Hand painted in a pond. And it has the scene on it, just like most of the Nippon items do. A little house in the background. The lake. No swans. But it was in the pond, so that would be right around the, the turn of the century into up until 1932, something like that. And I don't know why I picked this up because I typically don't collect bells. I got this little bell. Very pretty. Made in Japan. Picked that one up at Goodwill, it looks like, for $2. When I get brave enough and do a, a live sale, that might be one of the items. really pretty kitty. She's got a yellow tint to her. But look at that face. I always remember my grandmother had had some ceramic cats around the house and I just love looking at them and I believe I have a couple of those around here as well. And that one was about $1.75. So that one may go on a sale as well. <laughs> Speaking of cats, here's another one. Isn't she adorable? And she is a little pot, little pot planter. Not a pot planter, a planter. A little kitty cat head pot. <laughs> and of course, I believe she was made in Japan. There are no markings to speak of. Well, it does have a tiny chip on the back. Right there. But not very noticeable, pretty easy to fix. 
But she's just as cute as could be. Love her. Okay, I've gotten some boxes inside of boxes. I have no idea. It's like, mm. Let's pull it up here so it's a little easier and I'm not ducking out of them. Oh gosh. Yeah, these are cute. <laughs> I love this stuff and like I said, it's like Christmas, and this is awesome. I love little pots, uh, mid-century planters. But here's a little guy with his barrel. The barrel is a planter. And this is a Royal Copley piece. He is amazing. Love, love, love him. <clears throat> but not only do we have him we have his girlfriend too so she has her own little pot and just sitting there so coy And he's just wondering what, when he's can, when she's going to start talking to him. But beautiful little set. Love those two. I do like Royal Copley. I love the finish on them. Everything is, you know, it almost looks like it's airbrushed. It's so nice. And their faces are always, always fun to look at. This one looks like a Royal Copley too, but this one's a cute little dog. Little puppy, just resting. Little nub tail. Beautiful little guy, also a planter. Two of these, but where's the other one? I'll set that aside till I find it. I love these. Um, the silver leaf mid century glasses. This one is, uh, what do you call it? A low ball, low ball glass. And I believe I only found a couple of those at that in that run. This one I know I got less than the price I have marked on here. Um, this one's showing that it was four seventy five, but I believe I got that at fifty percent off. This beautiful cup, footed cup, made in Japan, it's marked Japan, by Royal, Han Royal Halsey, very fine Japan. But this plate, and the cup. Got the reticulated edges. Beautiful design.
have a set of Japanese salt and peppers made in Japan. Aren't they sweet? They're painted so cute. Oop. <laughs> Thought she had a dress on, but it looks like she's got pants. <laughs> Look at those butts. But those are just sweet. And a little Nippon glass. Oh, well, that's Japan. Looks like Nippon. It's dirty. But just a small plate. Again, no swan. I don't know where the swans are at. These are fun. If you like little pigs, some more salt and peppers. But look at those. Those are also made in Japan. Look at that. I don't know, I guess I have a thing for for little animal faces and and figurine faces. You always have so much emotion. They're almost giving you a side eye. <laughs> Cute little pink noses. These are Lefton. Two cute little bears. They're not salt and pepper shakers, they're just little figurines. But they are cute. They feel almost like a like a bisque. One's all dreamy-eyed, and the other one's checking her out. Aren't those sweet? No chips, no cracks, no paint loss, just cute little bears. Another one of the silver leaf glasses. I remember when I got these, got them for 50 cents a piece. But while I was there, I know there were three of these, or two of these, and three of those short ones I just showed you. When I got home, a few days later, I was looking at them. And there was only one in there. So one of them got left at, at Vincent St. Paul. St. Vincent de Paul. But, so I have one of these. And I'm sure I'll find more. And it looks like 
The only other things that are in the box are the other two of the, of the short silver ones. So, looks like that's all I have for this, for this box of goodies. Oh, the one thing that I found, and I can't find the other one, it must be in another box. I don't know why I would have separated them, but these were um, Nippon. This was early Nippon because it's got the um, the rising sun, which means it was between 18, 1890s to 1889, I believe, to 1920. So this one is very old, but very pretty. It is a salt or a pepper shaker, but I know that I have two of them somewhere. So, I'll continue to look. There are plenty more boxes to go through. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. I had fun looking through it. I didn't realize that what I had in that box, and it was fun. So, if you enjoyed this, please subscribe, press like, and make a comment. I sure appreciate all of your support. And we'll see you again soon. Good night.